So the deck is way too wordy. That's fine. We already had our input. The founders did their thing. I'm adding to it. But um, you mentioned basically you need to involve like most likely some of the design space. I'm actually getting two former employees at Giant Media who work elsewhere now. And one of those is a sales coordinator. Just does, does a great job of like taking wordy concepts and communicating them graphically or in infographics in some way. And then the other designer is going to put together the template. So, you know, it's okay if you don't have that skill set, but it is worth it. Even if like you're lean or low on funds, uh, come out of pocket for this kind of stuff and come out of pocket for legal too. Those things always matter to him. To add to that point, it doesn't have to be that expensive either. You can go on Fiverr, you can go on Upwork, you can find people in your network, you can get it done very, very affordably. Even worst case, you can go on graphicriver.net. That's actually a cool site. They have lots of pre-made templates that you can just fill out and if that's what you want to do. Um, there's, there's lots of ways to uh, actually do that. Now, to another point, when you're talking market size, I just wanted to add this. Um, it's not necessarily always the biggest market size that becomes the most uh, desirable uh, investment targets sometimes if you just have a very well-defined target niche where you realistically have a chance of dominating that niche uh, say with a recurring revenue model then you have a really interest, interesting business concept that could actually um, attract some in investor interest uh, and, and again everybody doesn't have to be a unicorn you can get something that's worth 10 25 million you're good to go and, and again you just want to make sure that you have a well-defined niche and, and, and that you can Find your way in the marketplace. You try to compete with the giant, you, know, you really are in for, you know, it's 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 not everybody that becomes a unicorn. So, uh, but there's lots of smaller businesses that can do very very well and be very very lucrative. So that's just what I wanted to add to that. Awesome. Yeah. Um, anyone have any? You guys want to add anything else today? I thought those were great. He's he's kind of touching on this, but there's definitely many other ways of either raising money or building a company besides. Uh, especially venture capital, which again has a specific model. You can bring, you can build a business that is profitable, healthy. You could, uh, you know, do crowdfunding. You can use something like Heartland. Like, there's a number of different resources. So just figure out what's best fit for you. Um, and it, you know, it doesn't always, you know, maybe even an ICO. If you guys are ICO or not, but. We'll <laughs>